Phoenix is a lander that's going to the North Polar Highlands of Mars to look for evidence of habitable zones, places where life might have existed in the past. We're going to be repeating a number of tests that we did back in Denver, both to fully check out the spacecraft after the shipment, as well as take on some minor updates to the software that we've been testing with overall. Once we get out into June then, we've got a month that we'll be installing the ordnance and explosives onto the spacecraft that it needs to both separate itself and deploy the parachute. This phase of the mission is uh, basically the, the final checkouts and closeouts of the vehicle um, in preparation to made it to the third stage and to transport it out to the pad and get it stacked on the rocket and of course uh, get it launched. The most challenging part is as you get closer and closer to the end, there's less and less room to recover if something doesn't go right. So, you know, it's really just managing things and, and being on top of every little item because there's, you know, there's a point there where you can't recover and um, you, you don't want to get to that point. Uh, the biggest challenge this week is actually not the launch window per se, because it's an early morning launch, but we are in our peak afternoon thunderstorm time of the year. So the biggest challenges are the, uh, the propellant loading that has taken place on the pad uh, over the last couple of days, and it's been canceled because of the thunderstorms. We were supposed to load um, oxidizer and then fuel onto the second stage of the launch vehicle uh, today, and uh, they got through the oxidizer load, and then the prediction for weather this afternoon was not good, uh, so they decided to stand down from loading fuel uh, which means they have to load fuel tomorrow. And because of that, we'll likely slip uh, spacecraft launch from what was planned to be Friday morning to Saturday morning. We have two days of our launch window before the shuttle. We have to stand down for the shuttle launch. And so we're hoping that um, if we either get off in the first two days or the shuttle gets off in its first day so that then we can start planning to launch right after the shuttle. Six, five, four, main engine start, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Phoenix, a distant science outpost seizing clues of the evolution at the polar region of Mars. Being on the program as long as I have, um, it's kind of like your kid going off to college. You're, you're very excited, you're very happy, but also sad that, uh, you know, your baby's basically going to go away. And, uh, you know, and you're not going to hear from it again for eight or nine months. There's a lot of joy, a lot of sadness, a lot of nervousness, um, but that's part of the job and, and uh, we all deal with it different ways.